how you'll do it. I was repairing my tank because it's got a little leak and I wasn't thinking of making a video but then I thought why not just make a video of it and uh, may help somebody out with a similar problem. So let's do it. Okay then, so we've looked for fuel tanks on eBay and uh, if you want to pay £100 or £70 for something worse than you've already got I can't believe the stuff what's on there, stuff like this To me they're just scrap, but you can uh, do a repair. Uh, I've done it before, a few years back on our GPZ RX 1000. That lasted a couple of years, well I sold it after a couple of years and it still wasn't leaking. But all I've got to use is this. It was about seven or eight years ago the last time I used this. And it's probably been improved since then as well, so even better. So I found the spot where it's leaking. I've tried a self-tapper and a rubber O-ring around the washer. And uh, there's not enough metal there for the threads to bite on, so it just spun round. I just uh, rubbed it down. Just get it all nice and clean around the area. I've checked these areas as well, but they're... There's no leaks there, they just want treating with a rust treater. If you're going to use a wire brusher attachment on a drill or whatever, be very careful because if you make a spark, that'll just go boom and your petrol tank will change shape dramatically. And you may even have serious burns. I know that sounds silly, but it's just a disclaimer. To, rather than just put a big dob over that, I'm going to push it in a bit with this like so and then just fill that bit ok so that's what you get let's take it out of its little tub just like plasticine really. Pick that bit off there. You see that's what's inside. You just pinch a piece of this off and mix it together. Just got a good piece off like that. Here we go. And just mix it together till it's all the same colour. Okay, that's all the same colour. Then we're just going to try and force a bit into the hole. And that should do. Just leave it to dry hour and a half then you can paint over it or I think you can rub it down as well actually but then you have to leave it 24 hours before you fill your petrol tank so I'll leave it like that and then I'll get back after an hour and a half okay then so that's nice and dry pretty hard let's get some paint on it uh, this is not a how to video, it's more of a does it really work video. Just slop some paint all over it. So it does start to leak. I'm sure it will wash this paint off. Giving us a warning that yes it's leaking already. There we go, now I've got to leave that for 24 hours and then put the petrol back in. 
Okay then, so this is a few days since the last clip. Uh, I did go over the old tank with the uh, Amorite paint. Uh, there's the fix. Feels quite rock hard like ceramic. So hopefully that's going to last. So let's get some petrol in it and uh, leave it for a few days and then come back and see if it's still petrol tight. Let's try and get the petrol tank level. Put some petrol in it. Okay, so there's the spot. Nice and dry at the minute. So yeah, let's leave that a couple of days and uh, come back to it. Okay then, so this must be another week later. It's just been sitting on the bike like that. But it's still not leaking, so... There's the patch, still perfectly dry, thank god. So I'm going to put it all back together and uh, keep you posted. How you all doing? I can report. This is a couple of weeks later and still no leaking. Yes, that is my Vauxhall Safira in front of me. It's a MOT day, so we're dropping it off. And what a beautiful day on the 16th of September. Uh, I suppose I should give you a bit of an update on the uh, landfill bike not really had the art to go in the garage very much been tinkering about with it here and there not really filming anything still got the death rattle sort of given up on it at the moment so yes just uh, wish me luck and time will tell dropped off we'll find out in an hour whether it's past the MOT or not I don't know see you in a bit okay we're on the way back and it didn't pass it failed front brake discs cracking oh my god it is cracking on the front brake discs so I've got to replace those and new pads as well so there'll be a video out shortly. <laughs> so yes, I'll see you in another week or so with an update on the petrol patch. See if it's still sealed. 
so far so good right then so this is Sunday the 25th of September and I can report I can happily report that the petrol tank is still leak free and still holding tight but we've sprung a leak somewhere else but that's not for this video that's for another video so yes you've guessed it that's the end of the video but I will keep you posted on the petrol tank leak over the winter I uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please make sure you subscribe and please make sure you press that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video see you soon before we go here's a little glimpse of the landfill bike looks pretty good sounds pretty crap am I feeling rock bottom yes so there you go Thanks for watching.